Hello, my name is Robert Sturman, and we're at my studio in Santa Monica, California. And this is my brand new pup, Chai. Today, I'm going to talk about perseverance and political alchemy of the artist. Um, when, when I was growing up in Los Angeles, California, I grew up in a very sheltered community that was predominantly Jewish. And I had seen movies about the Holocaust and heard a lot of stories and I knew it was tragic and I had met people that had survived it, but I never really got it because I can't tell you why I didn't get it. I can just tell you that when, about five years ago I visited Auschwitz-Birkenau where two million people were murdered and I got it that day. It was the most haunting experience in my life and I saw barracks with thousands of pounds of women's hair that was shaved before they were put through the gas chambers and um, it was just endless tortures um, that were documented on this massive plantation um, where, where people, it was just used to murder people. And um, I sat there and I saw a lot of people walking through there with Israeli flags and um, I knew that they had lost family members in the Holocaust. And in that moment I knew that one of the responsibilities of the artist was to swallow the darkness of humanity and, um, and take it all in. Um, I wasn't one that was going to put that in my work because I felt that there were enough artists and newspaper photographers and filmmakers that were focusing on that. but. I felt it was necessary to take it all in, but what I was searching for was within the ashes is to find that one little flower that was growing. And that's what I was going to focus on. And that's what I was going to celebrate. And that's what I was going to point to in um, reference to humanity's highest potential. So when I got home, uh, I knew a rabbi, and he was a surfer, and we went down to the beach, and he wore his gear, and we created a piece of art. Um, and when I create, I don't think, I just, I, I work on faith, and it was a blind creation, but after I looked at it, I saw that it was a piece that was so much more than anything I could have done by focusing on Auschwitz and all the genocide because I'm just not skilled enough as an artist to put two million haunted souls that have been tortured into a piece of art. So I made a piece about perseverance. And um, here it is. It's called Portrait of a Surfing Rabbi. And what I love about it so much is that it is a piece that I believe would have been Hitler's absolute worst nightmare to have our rabbis who survived the Holocaust surfing in sunny Southern California, married to gorgeous women, and making lots of Jewish babies at night. So, Perseverance, Portrait of a Surfing Rabbi. And I looked at it, and sometimes I call it. Yeah. Namaste.